Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here with FPV Dreams. I uh, just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know I'm doing a quick review here of uh, these gold bat batteries. Uh, checked them out on Amazon. They seem like a pretty good deal. Uh, 1500 100c batteries uh under 40 dollars um previously you know I, my favorite battery has been race day quads battery so that's what i'll be comparing it to but uh we'll check in here with a few a little bit of footage uh you should see some unboxing vi uh, video coming up uh got these things today uh if you're looking at I me and i'm all bundled up i'm gonna be putting my hood on here in a second because uh it's uh, 40 degrees here in charlotte and i you know i'm from the north but it's still 40 degrees and I, I prefer to uh, fly under normal conditions like above 40, above 50, but we'll get our flight in because uh, we're excited to fly these batteries. They have uh, some good promise for an affordable price. Check in with you guys in a few minutes. These are the Gold Bat 1500 100C batteries. Uh, as you see here, this is exactly how they arrive in the box. These were uh, sent from Amazon, ordered from Amazon. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about these batteries. These are, uh, like I said, 1500 100C batteries. They do arrive, uh, or at least at the time mine were ordered, uh, with a cool little battery strap. Go ahead and take it off here because, you know, we're not, we're not here for the battery strap, but if we want to look at it, I mean, for the price of the batteries, including a battery strap, I'm not going to say it's a uh, anything special, but... Yeah, I'll probably end up running on the quad when I get down to low battery straps. We'll see how they do, but um, it's always nice to get battery straps. You know, as a, if you fly quads, you go through your fair share. So we'll go ahead and toss this off to the side here. I'm going to uh, take a look at the batteries. I did the uh, two-pack order, so you can order one, two. I think you get a better savings uh, when you order two. So first thoughts on the battery. It's a uh, pretty pretty small battery I've been running a uh, race day quads batteries for the most part so uh, always nice to see a, a slightly smaller battery especially in a 1500 um, I like 13 and 1500s uh, this is a 100c battery or at least rated as 100c uh, as you can see here the only thing that seems to be a little different that I've noticed is the uh, XT60 battery lead wires go down the side for uh, I know quite a few people are running their uh, battery leads this way anyway so for you uh, people that are you know kind of looping it off to the side or going around the back whatever you're doing or going over the top this may be uh, exactly what you're looking for I'll need to play with this on some of my quads but definitely not a uh, deal breaker as it does easily flex and bend up and around and wherever you need it to go so uh, definitely a slight difference but as far as I can see it's it's pretty long definitely longer than the battery so uh, very promising there the balance end uh, balance lead definitely is pretty long uh, comes with one of those uh, balance lead protectors I kinda like these I know some people say they don't uh, for me I've got big fingers it gives me something to grab onto instead of just tugging on wires or tugging on the plastic clip I can tug on this and it securely grasp the, the plastic clip properly and gives it a tug so for if you have big hands or you cut your nails short or always damaging your nails like myself uh, this comes in handy uh, and definitely a welcomed free addition especially already installed I don't have to fiddle around and pop them on myself so I kinda like those um, you know obviously you can take it off if you don't but that's a hundred percent personal preference so not faulting you if you don't like it uh, don't mind if I do kind of thing so uh, both batteries are identical. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab one of my race day quads batteries. I'm gonna move one of these aside for now, and we'll go ahead and take a look at that race day quads battery, uh, one of the 1300 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, just for a size comparison, I can take out a ruler if we in a second here, uh, just holding up next to each other. Very similar um, in kind of feel. I will say, if you look at the height, race day quads, 1300 seems to have a little bit of extra length out of it. Uh, I'll say if you look at the thickness of it, it's hard to tell on camera, uh, but holding them up stack there, the 1500 does have a little bit of extra uh, width to it. Um, 
but as you can see is another way of looking at it. They are very similar. Um, the 1500 does have a little bit of a bigger uh, square diameter there, but this 1300 does have a little extra height to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and say they're pretty similar in size. I've already thrown these on my quads, and I've actually flown been flying this one for quite a while. Flown one of these already. Um, definitely uh, fits about the same. The one advantage, obviously, that I, I sh you have to mention, you can't you know go any further without mentioning it. This is a 1500. This is a 1300. Uh, both are 100C uh, battery. So theoretically, you should be getting more amp output than the 1300 um, at the 100C rating, and getting a little more flight time possibly with the higher milliamp out, uh, hours. So <clears throat> Uh, really comes down to personal preference. Uh, both are extremely well priced uh, and 1500 being a little cheaper probably wins out the price comparison. Uh, if you want to compare battery leads, uh, if you run the race day quads is a good low comparison. Battery lead is a little bit longer for the uh, gold bat. The balance lead obviously is still much longer so if you're balance charging or you want more lead to tuck this away under your battery strap or something uh, definitely gonna have a little more convenience out of this uh, I don't know if you're running a very tight build and you don't have much room for battery uh, that could be in the way but I don't foresee that being an issue or at least with none of my builds I don't, I don't have that issue <clears throat> so it it looks to be a pretty decent size comparison but again if you're comparing size uh, 1300 to 1500 1300 you know feeling a little longer 1500 being a little uh, more square and bigger they're they're identical but 1500 still has to win because it's a higher milliamp hour rating let's go ahead and get the scale out and uh, start testing some weights and seeing where where these things come in <clears throat> all right we're gonna turn the scale on there I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but uh we're going to head it's at zero grams right now. We're going to go ahead and zero it out again. So uh, let's start with my personal favorite at the moment, this 1300 milliamp hour race day quads. That's coming in at 161 grams. Uh, not sure if you can see that. It's uh, 161, 161 grams. So um, kind of the standard weight I'm used to flying around with. Let's go ahead and zero that again, the scale. Sometimes it's a little moody, but we make sure we zero it and kind of go back for a second weight here. Same thing, 161. All right. All right, going into the gold bat, it's actually heavier. Uh, 161 for the race day quads battery. The gold bat is 186 grams. So definitely 100, uh, definitely heavier because of, you know, obviously the 1500 milliamp hours, but uh, not surprising, 1500 battery versus a 1300. So, uh, kind of uh, makes me wonder where that extra size for the race day quads battery is coming from. Uh, so, it's definitely a heavier battery, not surprising. So, one more zero there. Let's get that thing zeroed out. Uh, again, let's do a second weight here 186 grams right on the dot. Uh, the one thing I'll say uh, from my thoughts and experiences. Both batteries do rock, so we'll, we'll take a look at those flights and uh, come back here in a second and give you my final thoughts. All right, we're gonna send this thing here. This is the uh, Dingo six-inch, rocking the RS2 2306 1900 kV motors. Um, this thing is a, it's a monster. Nah, it's nothing special. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what this thing's got for these uh, Gold Dot 1500 100C4S batteries. First flight was good, so hopefully a second flight is uh, even more impressive.
all in all, I'm I'm impressed with these batteries. They definitely get a thumbs up. If you haven't ordered these batteries, uh, there should be a link in the description below in the video. Uh, definitely give them a look. This battery was more than surprising. It definitely uh, performed as good, if not better, than my Race Day Quads ba batteries. Uh, but you know, you take take into account the price. Um, you know. RDQ is known for great shipping and great customer service, as is Amazon, where these batteries are available right now. I believe the two-pack was under 40 bucks. I don't remember the exact price, but uh, two of the race day quads will run you 40 bucks at the 1300 milliamp hour. And then if you get into the 1500 batteries, they're going to be even more. So I would say this is probably one of the best batteries uh, in terms of the price point for uh, in, out there in the marketplace right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give these batteries a thumbs up. Uh, definitely at least order yourself a two pack probably uh, two or three two packs these things are not good when, once people start finding out about this battery you're not going to be able to get your hands on them uh, it's just the way it's going to be so uh, go ahead order some now you won't regret it gold bat 1500 100c batteries thumbs up for me all right guys thank you for time for uh, tuning in and uh, taking the time to listen to this review which happens to be my first review so uh Hopefully you enjoyed this and found this informative. Again, gold bat batteries. You won't go wrong, uh, at least what I've seen so far. So I'll provide an update once I've run more cycles. But again, from a first test, first cycle, uh, these still performed uh, pretty well. I don't. I think I was impressed with these just like I was impressed with the Race Day Quads batteries. So um, overall opinion is, is they're solid. Check them out. Thanks. I knew something was wrong, was wrong, was wrong. Listen. Yeah, the times are changing. I'm trying to stay the same man. Staring through the hourglass while it wastes sand. Another hour dead, watch the clock.